Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing great. So it's spooky season and I just had to make this video for you. These are gonna be nocturnal, femme fatale, mysterious and strong fragrances. By the way, funny enough, most of them are in black bottles and it was not intentional, but they're just very dark and seductive and just amazing. So if you want to channel your inner femme fatale or do you want to be a vampire for Halloween, these are the ones to go for. So let's start with the one that I only have a sample of and um, I don't have a bottle yet, but it is so beautiful. It is perfect for this video because it is called Nocturna from Royal Crown and uh, I explored this fragrance when I met with uh, Royal Crown family actually in Milan and I fell in love instantly. It is a very dark, very seductive yet sweet and a little bit fresh of a fragrance super strong it's so potent it um i'm actually unable to spray it in this room because it's a small room and uh, when i spray it here with doors closed i get too like clogged up i cannot so you better go out when you wear it but uh, nocturna it's beautiful it's a little bit fruity it has some rose to it uh, so it is a little bit floral as well it is so gorgeous very feminine it has quite a bit of fruits in the beginning you have melon and peaches and lychee uh, but then everything is contradicted with heavy dose of uh, ambergris and cinnamon and sandalwood and vanilla so it's like a vanillic a little bit woody fruity fragrance with beautiful fl florals running through it so gorgeous and very long lasting the price is insane let me be clear here it's quite insane but honestly with nocturna it's actually worth it because uh, you really don't need much you need just like for free four sprays and that's it it's beautiful and it definitely will channel your inner femme fatale for sure now the next one is mystic warrior from spiritum and this is number eight and this is one of the most beautiful gourmand nocturnal scents it is amazing it is unisex that's for sure but uh, for me it's sweet enough that uh, leans feminine and this is a caramel honey fragrance with some spices uh, many people do compare it to black phantom with uh, that i think it would also very much suit this video black phantom uh, from killian uh, but since i have mystic warrior and i actually love it so much i decided to include mystic warrior they are quite similar but to me uh, with spiritual fragrances what really sells me on them is a performance they're so 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 amazing when it comes to longevity and performance um, so if you love black phantom definitely give mystic warrior number eight a try there's way more uh, in this brand that i love like solar soul um, what else uh, number seven which is actually my number but i don't forget i forgot the name of the fragrance but there are so many that you guys will love and uh, mystic warrior is just phenomenal so this is how it looks and they all have um symbols at, at the back of the bottle so yeah try this one out if you want something honey infused gorgeous scent now the next one is of course Crystal Noir, come on, uh, you know, it would not be a nocturnal fragrance with you without this. It is just so special because, you know, it's not an expensive fragrance and it's been around forever, but people still love it so much, including me. Um, this one is a combination of spices and florals and amber. Uh, we also have some... Uh, orange flower here and sandalwood and of course musks so this is a gorgeous combination with coconut so it's like a spicy milky creamy coconut um, with deep woody amber base I love it 
it's so so nice and so potent and very mysterious so it's perfect for the halloween season if you ask me now the next one is montal arabian's tonka and this is a very sweet wood fragrance you will definitely get that Baccarat Rouge vibe from it, but uh, with added oud and rose and piles and piles of sugar and tonka. Uh, I personally love it. This is my favorite Montal fragrance ever created, which says a lot because I love so many of them. But this one just gives me life. If you are debating between Instant Crush and this, don't even think about it. Get this. It's phenomenal. It will give you that fan fatale energy. Everyone will smell you. It is just to die for. So if you haven't tried it already, try this one. I love it so, so much. The next one I have, and I have a discount code for this. Um, this is such a nocturnal fragrance. It's so dark, mysterious. It's like screams the night. Night of vampires, you know. Uh, this is Mandorl uh, from Soradora. And this is for everyone who loves woody yet vanillic almondy cherry fragrances. It is so strong, very potent fragrance. It's um, a little bit like uh, incense uh, smoky, uh, like burned wood, you know? It's like burned wood with that vanilla and almond touches and that cherry vibe as well. There is no cherry per se, but the notes make it feel like there's cherry running through the scent so beautiful very sexy very seductive and very strong so keep that in mind um, you know do not suffocate anyone with this because it really is potent so that is mandorla uh, the next one that i have is a cheapy but such a goodie it's a new one in my collection and this is a one-to-one -one dupe to kayali invite only amber which I love, and that is Kahila Lux from Paris Corner. And look at the bottle, it is so nocturnal. Uh, it is just amazing, this scent. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wood, hazelnut, chocolate, cherry vibe here. It is just to die for. I love it so much. And then you get that gorgeous vanilla and amber in the dry down so yummy yet so mysterious and so dark so i love that so uh yeah kahila looks is amazing one-to-one -one dupe and also it lasts so so well on your skin and clothes so check it out it's a fraction of a price compared to kayali and you get so much perfume in a gray bottle so that is kahila Speaking of Kayali, I have another one that I want to share with you and this really is dark and nocturnal but still keeping you in that vanilla realm. This is Oudgasm Vanilla Oud and I really like it. Um, this is your darker, more seductive sister of Vanilla 28. Uh, it is Oud, it is praline, some saffron, some musk, uh, some oak moss. So it is gorgeous and you get that beautiful sugary Kayali typical vanilla so yeah i really really love it this is great for dates i mean all of them are but this one especially if you really want to be close to someone um yeah ugh, i just imagined so uh gorgeous 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 one and very very seductive so that is from kayali the next one that i have is from breco my other favorite brand and this is farah there are so many from the brand that I could include here, like Ambre Noir, uh, Subversive, uh, but Faura is still, after so many years, my favorite. And this one is such a powerful woman in a bottle. This is your Femme Fatale from the Middle East of a scent. It is a Middle Eastern gourmand, so you have a lot of dates, you have some honey here. It is actually very similar to Ojan from Parfums de Marly, but done way more feminine. So you have uh, a lot of vanilla, a lot of nattiness, a lot of like gooey, beautiful oriental dessert feelings here. I just love it. Uh, it is just phenomenal and it has fantastic performance. So I highly, highly recommend that. And by the way, I'm very like dark. 
today, right? In that blouse, I really made it special for today because I'm channeling my inner Catherine Pierce from Vampire Diaries today. So this would actually be very good for such vibe. But for me, what Catherine Pierce would really wear would be Vidian 5 from the Black Collection. This is a caramelly tuberose, but it is so seductive. It is so potent and like mysterious and very, very sophisticated. This is a rich bitch, but still a femme fatale, you know? So good, so, so good. If you love some tuberose, if you love caramel, this is like a very dark gourmand tuberose fragrance. Check it out if you haven't already because this is really special. Um, I actually got this, I think for my birthday a year or two ago and I love it. I love it. It's very, very sexy and very like um, classy yet mysterious. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, next one, of course, what would be a nocturnal, dark, seductive video without Noir de Noir from Tom Ford, right? This is such a great, seductive, dark fragrance, dark and mysterious, so good. Uh, this is like rose oud, uh, but quite earthy and quite sweet because of the truffles. So you get a combination of that typical rose oud, but with added like a chocolatey, dark chocolate vibe because of the truffles. And I don't mean truffles as praline, I mean truffles as mushrooms, uh, but they do have that effect here. And it is beautiful. Uh, I had quite a hard time wearing it for a long period of time, uh, but at the moment, like for a year, I really love it and I really do use it. So yeah, Noir de Noir, super dark and seductive scent. The next one would be Givenchy L'Antedy Intense. And again, uh, just like in my seductive vanilla fragrance video, I am including it here once again because it is so dark and seductive. It is a beautiful vanilla with sesame and uh, tuberose. So phenomenal. I think there's also some rose to it. Uh, it is just amazing. So for me, this is the best release of the whole Lanta D bunch, um, even though we have so many new flankers after this. Uh, but this one is really special and, you know, it will make you feel, again, just like um, Vidian, it will make you feel very sophisticated. Actually, these two fragrances are quite similar to each other, uh, with the difference that here you have more of a vanilla and sesame, and here you have caramel. So that would be the main difference, but they are definitely in the same vibe. So if you like one, you will love the other. So that is uh, Givenchy. And of course I have an Inicio fragrance and for this video, for this particular vibe, I chose Psychedelic Love. I thought about including Atomic Rose, but I was like, nah, Psychedelic Love is the ish here. So this one is like a vanillic, almondy, aromatic fragrance. It is super seductive, so, so, so seductive and so long lasting. Like all of these fragrances, you don't have to worry. They are so, so beast mode. And this one is no exception. The only one I would say sits closer to the skin without projecting much would be the new Kayali Orgasm, but it's still very long lasting. Uh, and the rest, they're beasts. So this one is phenomenal. Uh, I think many men also love to wear it. But for me, as it dries down, it gets quite sweet and like buttery almondy. Uh, so I love to wear it myself and I love it on a woman and I always get compliments even from my mother. Uh, so yeah, it's beautiful and it's dark and seductive. So super sexy fragrance with more of a almondy vanillic touch. Gorgeous. And what else do we have? Oh, just a quick mention. 
Um, last but not least, we've got, of course, okay, I'm kidding, it's not a quick mention. We've got, of course, Venom. Venom of Love, my darlings, is the ultimate seductress femme fatale fragrance and you cannot disagree, can you? This is just 10 out of 10 seductive, nocturnal, Halloween fragrance. This is a gourmand but made in the most dark, sexy, Middle Eastern leaning way. You have the most gorgeous cherry and cherry liquor here. So it's cherry and boozy. You have almonds and almond cream. You have uh, beautiful vanillic touches. You have rose and jasmine and amber wood in the dry down that will give you that gorgeous ambery Middle Eastern tone. Uh, but in general, this fragrance is just phenomenal. And of course, there's a heavy dose of dark chocolate here. So you cannot go wrong with this. It is such a beautiful, long-lasting cherry fragrance. I created this with Sydney Lancesa for Navitus last year and I couldn't be more proud. At the moment, it's been restocked with new packaging. As you can see, it has metal plaque now, so much better, like 100 times better. Now I'm super happy with it. Um, and yeah, this is my baby. Uh, if I was a vampire and I could only have one or two cents, this would be my primary one so you guys know you guys know i know how to roll in dark in the dark <laughs> i used to be a party monster so don't judge me here but venom of love is is just what you need this autumn winter and of course uh you have a discount code paulina10 um, and you can get some money off if you want to purchase it. So don't do it without the code. Okay, this is it guys. Please tell me in the comments, wait, let me just sit better. <laughs> Please tell me in the comments first, are you celebrating Halloween? And if yes, what are you getting dressed as this year? Because I am really sad that I am missing out on Halloween this year. We are actually uh, gonna be in Oman with my boyfriend. This is actually our first big trip as a couple. Uh, we've been together for five months now and it's about time to go on vacation. Um, so unfortunately, I will be skipping on Halloween, which is like my favorite party moment of the year i always make a massive party for all my friends everyone has to be dressed up and unless you're dressed up i'm not letting you inside my house this is how strict i am about it so i'm really sad that i'm missing out on this day um, because i really wanted to dress up with my boyfriend and we already had everything planned but you know vacation is vacation so i'm not gonna complain but please 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 make me happy and please tell me in the comments below who are you dressing as if you are celebrating halloween and that is it for today my darlings i really hope you enjoyed this video um this is definitely one of my favorite kind of videos to shoot for you because i love those dark mysterious seductive scents they really speak to my soul which is dark as well. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. And I forgot about one fragrance. Check it out. Where is my head? Um, just last one. Rouge Imperial from Viva Amor. For Viva Amor, you uh, get 20% off, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Rouge Imperial, I actually really wanted to include this in, the, in this video, so I don't know how I even missed it. Um, but this is like a rosy leathery spicy scent it's super mysterious and seductive it is dark it has a little bit of sweetness but not too much it is such a gorgeous one i love it mm. it is just beautiful if you love fragrances like uh, santal royal um, if you like uh, rosewood combinations you will still love this because it will give you a vibe 
So yeah, try Rouge Imperial if you love very dark and not too sweet fragrances. And now that really is it. So thank you for watching and sticking with me and see you in my next one. Bye.